Well, children, we are continuing with the same chapter, chapter six, B by multiple and be your factor. In the last video, you learnt about the meaning of the term factor. You also learnt how to find all the factors of a given number. Now today, you will first learn the meaning of common factor. Common factor can also be written as capital C and F. Okay? Now what is a common factor? A common factor is a number which is a factor of two or more than two numbers. If I tell you with the help of an example that three is a common factor of 12, I say 39 and I also tell you it's 54. So this means that 3 can divide all these 3 numbers completely which shows that 3 is a common factor of 12, 39 and 54. If you want, you can check it by dividing it by 3. You will find that in each case, the remainder comes as 0. And the other way is by applying divisibility rule. Okay, you know that when we want to check it for 3, we first find the sum of the digits. If the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then the number is also divisible by 3. Have you all understood? Now, you know the meaning of common factor. The next important term that you will learn after common factor is highest common factor which is represented by capital HCF or you can say greatest common factor or greatest common divisor. It's your choice. This can be written as GCF if you are writing factor. Then if you don't write factor but you write divisor here, then it can be written as GCD. D stands for divisor. Greatest common divisor. Now the name itself tells you that out of all the common factors, two or more than two numbers have the highest, the largest out of those will be the LCF. So we define it as LCF is the highest of the common factors of two or more than two numbers. Fine. Now I am going to explain to you people how to find the common factors and also the highest common factor of two numbers. Children, let's start with the question. Find the common factors of 8 and 12. Do you remember how to find all the factors of given number? So let's do that first of all. We will first find the factors of 8. And I hope you all would have practiced this concept and now you know how do we write the factors of 8. We begin with 1. 1 into 8 gives you 8. The next counting number after 1 is 2. And as it is an even number, so 2 will surely be its factor. 2 into 4 gives you 8. Now the next counting number is 3. But we don't get 8 in the table of 3. Okay. So we move to the next counting number which is 4. And 4 we have already written. The moment we see repetition of the numbers or the factors, what do we do? We stop writing the factors. Because we have already got all the factors of that number. The next number is 12. So let's find the factors of 12 now. Okay, so we'll begin with 1. 1 into 12 gives us 12. The next counting number after 1 is 2. 2 should be multiplied by what number so that we get 12. You already know that 12 is an even number. So 2 
open shirt he beats factor. So two six are give you twelve. The next counting number after two is three. Now how did how 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 am I going to check this? One way is you find the sum of the digits. One plus two is three. Three is divisible by three. So twelve will also be divisible by three. The other is you know the table of three. So three fours are will give you twelve. The next counting number after three is four. And four we have already written. So there is a repetition. We are going to stop writing the factors. Clear? So what is the next step after this? We will write the factors of these two numbers in ascending order. Now, writing the factors in ascending order is important. Why? Because then you don't skip any of the common factors if they are written in ascending order or in increasing order. So let's write the factors of Eight factors of eight are. We begin from the top on the left side. One, two. We move to the right side. From the bottom we begin. This is four, and the last one is eight. Fine. Now we write the factors of twelve. The factors of twelve again. We we'll begin from the top. It is one. Two, three, four, six, and twelve. This is how we write. Now see, checking the common factors becomes easier this way. One, two, four. Do we see four here? Yes, we have four. Eight? No. So we have got all the common factors here. For common factors, I am writing capital C F. The common factors are sorry, I forgot to circle this four here. They are one, two, and four. Have you all understood? Now, if I simply add one more line here, find the highest common factor. Now, these three are the common factors of eight and twelve. The highest, the greatest, the largest among these three is four. So the HCF is four. Now one more line is to be added. HCF is equal to four. HCF of eight and twelve is equal to four. I hope you have understood. Children, after learning how to find the common factors of two numbers, now we will learn. How to find the HCF of two numbers? Fine. So the question states: Find the HCF of forty and sixteen. Again, first we will find all the factors of forty as well as sixteen. Then we are going to find the common factors. Of forty and sixteen, and finally, from the common factors, we will find the highest common factor. So let's start. So first, we are writing the factors of forty. So we begin with one beta. One into forty gives you forty. The next counting number is two. And as it is an even number, so two will surely be its factor. Two into twenty gives you forty. The next counting number after two is three. But four plus zero is four. Four is not divisible by three, so forty is also not divisible by three. So the next counting number after three is four. So four into what will give us forty? Four tens are forty. The next counting number after four is five. Just see, this number forty is ending in a zero. So the numbers which end in zero or five, then five will surely be their factor. So five into Eight gives us forty. Now next number, counting number after five is six. For 
number 6 what do we check whether 2 and 3 both are the factors of the given number or not 2 is a factor of 40 but 3 is not a factor of 40 so 60 will also not be the factor of 40 now 7 do we get 40 in the table of 7 we get 7 5 size 35 and 7 6 size 42 which shows 7 is not a factor of 40. The next counting number after 7 is 8. And 8 we have already written. So this shows we should stop writing the factors. So let's put the arrows so that we remember how do we need to write the factors. Now we will find the factors of 16. How do we find the factors of 16? Same way we will begin with 1. 1 into 16 gives you 16. 2 into 8 gives you 16 by as it is an even number. So 2 will surely be its factor. Now 3. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 is not divisible by 3. So 16 is also not divisible by 3. Now what comes after 3? It is 4. The next counting number is 4. Now 4 into 4 gives you 16. What do we see? The same numbers are being multiplied with each other. So we should stop writing the factors. So let's write the factors of both the numbers here in ascending order. Factors of 40. They are, we begin from the top. On the left side it is 1. It is 2, then it's 4, 5, 8, 10, then it's 20 and 40. So, beta, these are the factors of 40. Now, next is factors of 16. Let's begin from the top here. The factors are 1. 2, 4, move to the other side, again we see 4, so we will not repeat, we will not write it 2 times, no use of writing it 2 times. Then after 4 we have 8, then it's 16. So let's circle the common factors, 1 is common here, 2 is common here, 4 is also common. Five. Do we see 5 here? No. Next is 8. Yes. We have 8 here. Then 10. No, it's not here. 20. We don't need to check. Because the last factor or the largest factor of every number is the number itself. Fine. So, the common factors of these two numbers are 1, 2, 4 and 8. And the highest among these is 8. So, SCF is equal to 8. What is part B? Find the HCF of 15 and 30. So, let's find the factors of these two numbers. Now, we first find the factors of 15. How? 1 into 15. The next counting number is 2. But 15 is not an even number. So 2 is not going to be its factor. So the next number is 3. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 is divisible by 3. So 15 is also divisible. Can I write 3 fives are 15. Now the next counting number is 4. An odd number will never be divided by an even number completely. Fine, so 4 is not its factor. Next number is 5, but 5 we have already written here. So, after we see the repetition, we should stop writing the factors. The next number is 30. So, let's write the factors of 30 now. Okay? The first factor we begin with 1. 1 into 30 gives you 30. As it is an even number, so 2 will be its factor. 2 into 15 gives you 30. The next number is 3. 3 plus 0 is 3. 3 is divisible by 3, so 30 is also divisible by 3. So 3 into 10 gives you 30. Next number. 
number is 4. Do we get 30 in the table of 4? No, we get 4 7s are 28, 4 8s are 32. So 4 is not a factor of 30. The next number after 4 is 5. As this number is ending in 0, so 5 will surely be its factor. 5 6 are 30. Next number after 5 is 6. 6 we have just written here. Repetition. So we should stop. These all are the factors of 30. So let's write the factors of 15 plus 2 4. The factors are 1. Then it's 3. Then it's 5. And finally it is 15. Now we write the factors of 30. The factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15 and 30. Let's circle the common factors now. 1, 1 is common in both. 3, yeah we have 3 in here. So 3 is also common in both. 5, we have 5 in the factors of 30 also. Now 15, yes we have 15 here. So the common factors of 15 and 30 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. But we are supposed to find LCF also. So the highest among these is 15. So 15 is the LCF of 15 and 30. Have you all understood? So that's it.